All right, guys, welcome back to Burning Rubber Garage. Uh, I thought it'd be a cool idea to start using this, the Suburban, to do odds and ends. Kind of, uh, you know, you buy these cars, you cruise them on the weekend. There's not a lot else you do with it. Yeah, a lot of the times the cars just sit, they'll go to a show. Uh, you might take it out, like I said, on the weekend. You'll do some little odds and ends with it, nothing too crazy. But what I think would be cool is to uh, put this thing to use daily drive style. So take it to the grocery store. I got to go move a trailer right now, my car hauler trailer. I got to go move it. Uh, I want to use this thing to do it. So let's hope it works. I've never used this to pull or even see if it'll work. But what we've got back here is I've kind of got a hide a hitch. So you got your license plate. Flip it up. And you got your receiver hitch right there and then your seven way right there. And I don't know if this even works. Uh, I think someone's pulled with this before because it has the airbags. Uh, and you can, I don't know if you'll be able to even see those under there. It's probably too dark, but when we get it out in the light, I'll show you those. Um, but definitely, this should be a fun little thing. Hopefully, you guys will like this type of thing and I'll do a lot more with it because uh, I plan on using it. I just haven't planned on filming it. So I've used it more out here than I have back home. That's pretty sad. But uh, it's, uh, again, 1970 Chevy Suburban. Uh, Hood's got some paint issues going on there. Let me see if I can get this thing up in the air. There we go. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's just a three-speed. I think it's a turbo 350. Might be the 400. Uh, small block Chevy. Good old American V8. Does have headers going to dual exhaust. We do have AC, but it's not working. So that's something we'll have to look into. Brakes are decent unless it's low idle. So we'll have to look into that. The other day, I almost uh, backed into the basketball hoop because I hit the brakes and they weren't there. So I remember hey this thing doesn't work and a lot of times there's just not enough oomph behind it so i gave it a little gas which is odd because when you're almost to back into something last thing you want to do is give it gas but i gave it gas and uh it was able to have enough i guess vacuum pressure to give me some brake boost and some power on the brakes and it works so headlights work i don't think the high beams work so what's something else we'll have to look into other than that signals i think everything else works it does have a horn and everything but uh Let's uh, let's take this thing up. Let's cruise. One thing I like about this is even though it's carbureted, it is set up for this elevation, which is awesome. So normally when I come down here, all I got to do is crank the key real quick. Give it just a second to warm up. So right down here, RPMs, idles just shy, right in between, so probably about 750. Got your speedometer there. We're sitting at 5,600 miles. Over here, you got your fuel gauge, got your oil pressure, got your water temperature, and then you got your volts right there. So we turn that off, the volts go right up. So the lights on this aren't LEDs or anything. Yeah. 
gas in and we will see what happens but anyways we'll see you at the trailer hooked up we really just need to move it so we've got it hooked up all the lights work the only problem is I don't have a hitch that's really set up for this to pull so I'll have to get one this is like a four inch five inch drop sounds mean um, yeah it's just not gonna be what we need for what we're looking for but uh, it should do it so what we've got here we're kind of it squatted us just a little bit nothing too crazy but let me put some air in those bags and see if we can level that out a little bit. I usually run it so there's about a, probably just another hair in there, but. That leveled it out better. So now if we were to get a, uh, a different drop hitch there, so it maybe only dropped two inches or just came straight out the back. That would probably tow it a little bit more level. Maybe just a four inch instead of a five so inch. now the truck's sitting really level. The trailer's sitting pretty good too. I'm just impressed all the lights work. So let's go ahead and move this thing out of the way. Good. See ya.